Hey everyone and welcome back to Monster Hunter World. On this video we're doing the arena challenge, challenge quest 1 expert. We'll be doing this with the sword and shield and we've got a new partner gamer Setsuna is going to be helping me out. So as for a login bonus, 5 potions, I guess that's okay. Alright, let's head up. Hello. Okay, we want challenges. Challenge quest one, expert. It's a nine star arena challenge. Uh, for the A rank, we will need to complete this in five minutes and 30 seconds or less. And we're gonna be fighting a tempered basil goose and a tempered urigan. And we get this one from the arena last. In the monster corner, a basil goose urigan tag team. You're walking into a literal minefield with these two around. Watch your step and you won't get blown up. Okay, let's get Satsuna in here and we shall begin. Okay, Satsuna is here. And getting a drink. All right, so hopefully she's ready to go. I am ready. All right, for this arena challenge, the five weapons you can choose from are sword and shield, dual blades, the gun lance, uh, switch axe, or the, what is that? The light bow gun, I believe. Or is that the heavy? I always forget how to tell them apart. Anyways, a bow gun. We are going with the sword and shield. Let's take a look. Uh, we're gonna have the KO charm. Well, that's whatever. Uh, apothecary mantle and impact mantle. As for consumables, potions, demon powders, hard shell powders, max potions, ancient potions, flash pods, barrel bombs, paralysis knives, two pitfall traps. And that is it for those. And then for our skills, we have slugger level three, earplugs level two, tremor resistance two, attack boost, paralysis attack, Master Mounter, although I won't be taking advantage of that. Artillery, won't be taking advantage of that. Quick Sheath, and Jump Master. All right, let's do this. Okay, here we go. Gonna use an Ancient Potion, slot in my Flash Pods. And let's see, I think we'll start off with an Apothecary Mantle. And I'll use some demon. So I'm gonna get this Basil Goose into the action right away because he is going to help oh, immensely in taking down this Uragan. And Uragan's gonna be my main focus. Now I don't think I've shown the Sword and Shield before, but this is the main move that I focus on. That charging, like, Charging, flip into the air, awesome attack. Um, and you initiate that by pressing back and circle after any successful attack to then initiate the charge. So back and circle, charge, and then you can jump forward. And if that attack lands, it flings you into the air, and you can um, press circle on your way down to bash. Big damage. That's my main bread and butter. And I like to go into it beforehand with triangle and circle to do a lunging forward attack, like that, and then I go back. Fly into the air. Now the cool thing about this attack is you can actually chain them together, so once I landed, I jumped back and I ran into another one, and I can just do that again and again, except for I'm very good at this weapon, and I just screwed it up. Now one um, other thing that's super cool about uh, Sword and Shield is that you can use items Oh, what? No, don't. Oh my god, don't harvest it. Um, you can actually use items with your weapon out. And as far as I know, it's the only weapon that can do that. So that comes in good. <laughs> Basically, it's abusing her again at the moment. Nicely done. 
Oh no! Oh, well that actually worked out. I ended up hitting him. That was all sad that he got knocked back, but what to my advantage. Oh, and how did I miss them both? So yeah, I'm not very good at this weapon, but the basics are easy to pick up. And look how fast I machine my weapon is. It's extremely easy. Oh, and I just paralyzed him. Oh, he hit me out of the air. That is so rude. Alright, I'm gonna use a max potion. That is why we keep Basil Goose in the fight. Because he just makes life better. And Urgan is dead. Nice. Okay. Time to focus on Basil Goose. And we're gonna use Pitfall Trap. And I'm gonna drop some Mega Barrel Bombs. Oh, I got the second one out, but he didn't quite hit it. Let's let that set up good. Alright, I will take that. That's fine. Oh, get out of there. I don't want to be near those bombs. Uh, let's see. Do I have a mantle ready? I do not. I'm going to bring out my uh, paralysis knife. Let's see if I can get him paralyzed. Come on, paralyze for me. Got him. Boom. Oh, have another one. Oh, I missed. Well, let me do this. Hmm, do I want to keep this mount? Probably not. I'll drop down if it doesn't quite work for me. But I don't know. I might want to keep it. It's keeping him steady at the moment. Yeah, I think I'm actually gonna finish this off. There we go. Boom! Dang it, I messed the jump back. Messed it up. Hold on here, let me drop a pitfall trap. Bomb! Boom! Boom! Oh, how did that miss? Oh, dang it! Ugh. I'm screwing up right at the end here. Let me slot my flash pods. I'm not finishing off this fight very well. Play it safe. I'll go ahead and heal. We need to finish this quick though, I think. We are running out of time. Ah! Oh! It was going so well! I might just go for another mount. Oh! Nice! Oh no, don't roll past! Alright, we got the kill. Hopefully I didn't waste too much time there. Oh man, I did so bad at the end there. Hope it was good enough. Did we do it? Oh, we barely barely got it. I would have been so sad if my mistakes at the end had uh, cost us that A rank. But we did it! Alright, and of course... We have to end with arm wrestling. Although, I'm a little worried because I think Satsuna is actually really good at the arm wrestling. So, I might get owned here. Let's see... Got her! <laughs> Champion! Alright.
Well, I don't believe there's anything else I need to do. So, we're gonna wrap things up right here. Thank you for watching, and I will see you next time.